again to 34 counts of falsifying business records and conspiracy. Mm -hmm. uh, conspiracy is a very effective tool used by prosecutors. It's 34 counts of falsifying records and conspiracy. Mm -hmm. We need to see what was the purpose of the conspiracy, who was in the conspiracy. Mm -hmm. uh, it infers servants of the ser uh, in further further further. of that conspiracy. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't actually have to complete the conspiracy. Now, the conspiracy count is important. No. New yeah. information for the first time out of court uh, that the DA is charging this as a false business records and conspiracy case. Everybody got that? You have a conspiracy count that lets you give a narrative that describes the evidence that the grand jury heard and voted on. Stop it. Get some help. There are 34 counts of falsifying business records and conspiracies. So add the conspiracy element to this. What are you talking about? Don't you have any sense? Don't you have a brain? Are you so completely senile you don't even know what you're talking about anymore? Except none of that is true. And they weren't alone in spreading that disinformation. Hello, welcome back viewer, I'm Drone Tech. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the self-titled Defenders of Democracy who have been promising an indictment since quite literally the month he took office in 2017. Who have finally gotten what they so desperately wanted six years later. And despite their bad acting, can barely contain themselves to the point that they've been spreading misinformation about this Trump indictment for the past 48 hours. But don't worry, <laughs> it's different when they do it. So just sit back and relax. Seriously, this one is going to bring your piss to a boil. But first, with bank runs, the US dollar being threatened, and the Biden economy, it's time to start considering investing in gold and silver. The second and third largest bank runs in history happened last month. The government is taking steps to guarantee all deposits. That means more money printing. Thousands have approached Noble Gold Investments to secure their wealth with gold. Gold is the most stable asset outside of government control. Hurry and go to noblegoldinvestments.com to secure your wealth. Bag a free five ounce America the Beautiful coin if you qualify. Noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can find the link to that in the description or pinned comment. If you call, make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. And remember, there's always risk in investment, and there are no guarantees of any kind. As news began to drop that Trump was indeed indicted on 34 felony counts, the Democrat state press leapt into action and began reporting what their hearts desired and not what was actually occurring. Katie Fang, host of the Katie Fang Show, how clever, on MSNBC, and someone who has suggested removing Fox News from military bases to, quote, protect troops from misinformation, tweeted out, quote, NBC News has now corrected itself. 34 counts of falsifying business records and conspiracy. Mitchell Reports advises that other media outlets are reporting 34 felony counts. Kyle Griffin, a super serious executive producer at MSNBC tweeted out, Donald Trump just pleaded not guilty to 34 counts of falsifying business records and conspiracy for his alleged role in hush money payments to two women at the end of his 2016 presidential campaign. <laughs> Wait a minute, okay, that's what I thought. 34 felony counts related to payments to two women to be quiet about their sexual escapades? Well, yeah, this is super serious. I definitely have the feeling that they really got him this time. What's this? Brian Stelter is back. And this time he's definitely not reporting misinformation. In describing the indictment, they said Mr. Trump tried to conceal a conspiracy to influence the 2016 election. Oh my God, we're back to 2016 election conspiracies? That's what this is all about? And I'm sorry, but you're saying that Trump is being charged with trying to conceal information that was damaging to him before the election and that this was election manipulation. Gee, you mean like the government, the Democrats, the media, and big tech conspiring to suppress bad news for Joe Biden, thereby manipulating the 2020 election? <laughs> Anything like that? Oh, that was different. You know, it's funny because I actually read the statement of fact yesterday after it came out and I didn't see anything in there about a conspiracy. So what is it these people are even talking about? And in fact, it has been reported like this widely throughout the Democrat state media over and over and over and over and over and over 
<laughs> Where the hell did they get this information to the point they were confident enough to report it all throughout the Democrat state media? The answer is nothing. It's just something that they really wanted. And as soon as they heard it, they reported it. This is exactly why every single story that they get wrong cuts against the Republicans because their confirmation bias gets in the way. Needless to say, they didn't take it well. Looks like there are no conspiracy charge. Just someone from NBC mishearing prosecutors description. <laughs> is there or is there not a count for conspiracy in the indictment? <laughs> it's just falsifying business records 34 times there's no conspiracy charge <laughs> god i hate the goddamn television <laughs> the word conspiracy does not appear in this indictment right exactly like why didn't any of these so-called reporters think to read the indictment or just be lazy and do a quick word search but they didn't even do that so in the end, it turns out that these charges are nothing more than misdemeanor process crimes that are normally punished with $20 fine. Again, I'm not a lawyer, so I could be wrong, but this seems pretty desperate and petty. I'm not alone on this either. Even Van Jones of all people describe these charges as pebbles. I, I, I worry. I mean, look, if this is the only pebble that gets thrown at Donald Trump, uh, it's a very small pebble. All right, folks, if you enjoyed that, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.